How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released its latest update to iOS 17, iOS 17.2. And trust me when I say this, this is a huge software update. It's the biggest update to iOS 17 so far and it includes over 30 new features. It's incredible. So let's get started and let me show you everything iOS 17.2 brings. Starting with a new app called Journal, Apple announced this brand new app on their WWDC presentation of iOS 17 and it took two months but it's finally here. So, the journal app, as the name suggests, will let you write small moments and big accomplishments on your life. So, it's supposed to go ahead, write it down, write what's going on on your life, and then you can come back anytime you want and take a look at those memories and take a look at what happened and really practice gratitude okay so the way it works it's super simple so you can go ahead here and tap on plus as you can see and then automatically you'll see here a ton of suggestions so uh, based on the people you have talked to and connected and communicated you have photos and memories uh, of course you have here reflections your workouts other photos music you've listened to so of course you have a ton of stuff here that's recommended by Apple and that each and all of those little suggestions can be used so you can go ahead and create a new entry but of course you can also manually create it as well so as you tap on new entry right here you can go ahead and write something for example I recorded and as you guys can see here I recorded a YouTube video all right and of course you can add a bunch of different media or just text of course so for example if i tap here on the camera let me go ahead and take a photo and then use that photo for example and then i have text and of course i have a photo and then i tap on done and as you can see here i have this entry from today and of course you can easily sort here and take a look at all your entries if it has photos you can select your photos if it was a song or uh, someone you connected to it'll be right here listed so you can easily see uh when was the last time i talked to somebody or when was the last time i listened to music or i took that photo specifically or I was at that place specifically and so on so then you can easily sort here anything from your memories with the journal app another thing that's super cool is the notifications so the journal app will also send you notifications if you allow uh, to remind you every once in a while to create a new entry and of course you're probably thinking about security right because if you start writing down a lot of your life on the journal app you want it to be safe right and of course apple thought about that so if you go to your settings and then you scroll down uh there is now the journal app right here a dedicated section and if we scroll down a bit more you have here locked journal so of course you can type in your passcode okay and then you can lock it with a passcode with face id or touch id and of course require a passcode and then you choose how frequently as well and of course last but not least on the journal app everything is saved here and synced up through iCloud so then if you have multiple devices on the same Apple ID you can keep up with your entries and everything like that and of course it's all end-to-end -end encrypted and so that's the journal app moving on let's talk about the action button which is exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro series so if we go ahead and tap on settings and scroll down just a bit and tap on action button we now have a new feature to the action button so if we slide to the right here you can see it's called translate so you can easily use the action button to translate a conversation especially if you are abroad or talking to somebody you don't speak the language so for example if I press and hold here I'd like a coffee and so as you can see we've got here perfect and of course it plays audio as well so if I play Me gustaría un café. So then you can easily do that. Of course, it's not only English and Spanish. If you tap on it, uh, it goes to the Translate app, right? And then you can switch and choose any language that you want, depending on the person you're talking to or the country you are in very cool new implementation to the action button now let's talk about the camera we have two new features so let's open up the settings and then scroll quite a bit down until we see 
camera and then let's tap on formats and right here we have spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. Please keep in mind this feature is also exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro series, so now you can enable video capture on this formats, which is exclusive to the Apple Vision Pro. Let me show you how it works. So let me open up the camera right here and then on video, and it's gonna work best in landscape mode, and if the object is a little bit far away, it's gonna be tricky for me to show you, but I got it right here, and then I'm gonna tap on the video, and as you can see, there you go. So you've got here the icon for the Apple Vision Pro, and the intent of this mode right here, as you can see, is to simply create video that will be best viewed, best displayed, in the Apple Vision Pro. So if you're thinking about getting the headset, if you wanna watch the videos that you're recording on your iPhone, make sure to record while in this mode, as you saw, so then it'll be great for you to view it on your Apple Vision headset. We have something else here on the camera, as I mentioned, and again, exclusive to the 15 Pro series, unfortunately, which is a faster and better autofocus while zooming in. Uh, so while you are really zooming in far away, right? You're gonna have a better autofocus. So yeah, that's pretty much it, nothing really special, just a faster, better autofocus, especially if you, when you are really far away taking photos or, or videos. Uh, sometimes it used to be a little bit slow, now it's faster. Now let's talk about the Messages app and there's quite a lot new here. So first things first is a new arrow which you can tap and it'll take you straight to where you left off. So this is especially useful in group messages for example, so when you're talking to a bunch of people there are a ton of messages going on and then you exit uh, the Messages app, when you come back there will be a ton more messages, right? So with the arrow you tap on it and then it'll take you straight to where you left off, to where you last were, okay? So that's pretty cool. On top of that, we have better reaction. So if I tap and hold on a text, on a bubble, as you can see, I not only have just those options, I also have the possibility to add a sticker. So this is pretty cool because I can tap on a sticker, as you can see right here, and then it's going to go straight there. So not only those reactions, now any sticker that you have, it'll go straight there. It's just doubled because I'm talking to myself right here as as you can see. Now let's talk about the Memoji because we have some changes there as well. So if I tap on the plus button more and then I tap here on Memoji and then I have my Memoji right here, right? So I edit it and then if I go ahead here and slide all the way pretty much, we have now body and we have new possibilities for your body for customization. So you can change, of course, here everything super easy, super cool. So we have a bunch uh, of new possibilities as you can see and this is probably because of the Apple Vision coming. Now we have sensitive content warning for stickers in iMessage as well. Uh, so then we used to have this feature for photos, right? So iMessage would automatically detect if a photo was sensitive graphic content, right? And then it would blur it and let you know. Now it will also do that for stickers. So this is very, very nice. You can allow and manage all of that in the screen time feature right there on your settings. And speaking about the settings, I wanna show you the last new feature in the Messages app. So if you open up the settings and then tap here at the top banner and then scroll all the way down, Okay, you're gonna have here contact key verification. It's finally here so that you can enable verification in iMessage as you can see right here. And the way this works is it's gonna make sure that you are talking to the person you think you are talking to. So uh, it's gonna make sure to verify the identity of other people you're talking to. So then if you have this feature turned on and the other person, the person you're talking to also has it, uh, you're gonna have this it's almost like this verify, the check thing you have on Twitter and Instagram so you know you're talking to the person you think you are, okay? In order to set this up, you need to have all your devices are running the latest version of iOS or macOS. Unfortunately, I have a ton of devices and not all of them are, so I won't be able to do it, but if you care about security and privacy, I do recommend that you set this up. Now let's talk about the weather app. So if you open it up, 
and then right here tap on any day as you can see for example today and if we scroll down just a bit you have now precipitation totals so you can easily see the amount that it will rain tomorrow so in the next 24 hours uh, and in the last 24 hours as well very easy way to check how much it actually rained or snowed, this is super helpful. If we scroll just a bit up on this very same page and then you change here from conditions to actually wind, we have a new wind map. So it's gonna show you uh, the wind, the direction and everything, where you are in the world and the conditions for the next 24 hours regarding the wind. If we close this page and get to this very first page of our city, right? Uh, and if we scroll quite a bit down, you'll see right here, the moon, all of the information regarding the moon. Not everyone knows that. Uh, that's not new to iOS 17.2, right? You could see all of that and even uh, take a look at how it's gonna look like in the future, in a few days going up. It's very, very nice, as you can see right here, this animation. But what's actually new is scrolling down, you have the calendar and you can easily check how is the moon gonna look, which phase of the moon it will be on any day. So you can tap here on the 20th, for example, and then it's gonna change. So now the map is actually interactive, as you can see right here, which just wasn't in the previous versions of iOS. Now let's talk about widgets, and I don't know if you noticed, but this is actually a brand new widget. There are actually quite a few. So let me go ahead here and tap and hold so I can go ahead and tap on the plus icon and let me show you the new widgets in iOS 17.2. So most of them are related to weather. So as you can see, sunrise and sunset, that's new. Uh, we have this for daily forecast, which is the one I'm using right now. Uh, we also have details, which is also new. Uh, those were already on previous versions. But not only that, we also have the clock. So as you can see right here, we have this new digital clock if you want to use it that's a brand new widget as well now let's talk about Apple music we have new stuff here as well starting with a new playlist called favorite songs it's gonna be right there at the top and of course all of your favorite songs that you have manually selected and you have manually stored will be right here so all of the songs that you have as your favorite so that's very cool as well another new feature related to apple music actually has to do with do not disturb so let me show you what i mean if i open up do not disturb and tap here on the settings right let's take a look at the settings uh we have here everything i can customize and if i scroll all the way down i have here my filters so if i tap on add filter right here we have music and this is new so as you're seeing here choose if music played will influence recommendations and mixes appear in recently played or be shown to others on apple music so maybe when you are on a specific focus mode for some reason you don't want those songs that you listen to the music that you listen to while specifically in that focus mode to influence and be registered and so on so then if that's the case for you you can go ahead here and choose to use listening history or not. Siri now will be able to access your health data. So not only add information, but also check for information. Let me show you. So if I press here and ask Siri, how many steps I walked yesterday? And as you can see right here, 4,053 steps, okay? There are also new features to AirDrop, so it now can share much more information with just bringing you to iPhones closer. For example, uh, tickets, cards, and pretty much everything you have on your wallet. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna bring both iPhones closer, and then it's gonna ask if I wanna share uh, this pass. As you can see, I'm gonna tap on share, and then uh, as you can see it's gonna come right here and there we go it's right there autofill also got smarter in 17.2 so if you open any pdf file it's now gonna ask you if you want to if you want to assist with filling out this form so now we have the autofill form so it'll automatically fill forms with for example your name address and a ton of personal information that it already has from your contacts all right so of course i'm not gonna do it right now because i don't want to give away that information we also have new languages that were added to ios 
eight new Sami languages. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So uh, let me show you. If we scroll down and tap on general and then go ahead here and take a look at your keyboard and keyboards and add a new keyboard and type Sami, I believe that's how you pronounce it. You've got here eight new Sami languages. Now talking about charging, great news because the iPhone 14 series and 13 series, so all of the iPhones 14 and 13, they are now compatible alongside with the iPhone 15 series with the standard G2. And that's the new standard for wireless charging, right? And G2 will, of course, deliver faster charging speeds and also better alignment here in the back with magnets. So then G2 it gets closer, it's getting closer to MagSafe. So great news because 13 series, 14 series can now take advantage of this new standard as well. And last but not least, we have one bug fix. That's right, Apple only disclaimed one bug fix in iOS 17.2, which also has to do with charging, more specifically wireless charging in some vehicles. So some vehicles, some brands uh, like GM and other brands as well, uh, were facing this problem when you place an iPhone, it just wouldn't charge. So then there was a problem with wireless charging in some cars and now with iOS 17.2 that's fixed and so that's literally everything absolutely everything new to iOS 17.2 over 30 new features and it's incredible uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I had a great time recording it I'm not really gonna mention performance or battery or anything like that just because it wasn't the point, it wasn't the purpose of the software update. And as I've mentioned before on many other videos, iOS 17 as a whole does not have problems with battery performance and how the OS feels and works. So iOS 17 has been great for most uh, Apple users, for most iPhone users, and it continues to be, okay? So that's it, thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye.